I'm doing this research because I love it. I mean, I, I'm a fan of uh, anything that's spineless. Like, <laughs> so I love marine invertebrates. I just think they're the most fascinating creatures on the planet. And then on top of that, I love working with students, you know, and kind of exposing them to the things that I'm uh, most interested in and allowing them to experience some of the joy that I get when I even just, you know, turn over a rock and see little critters. I'm here on the coast of Maine with uh, three Holy Cross students. We're working out of the Schiller Coastal Studies Center, and we're spending about five to six weeks studying marine invertebrates, such as sea stars and sand dollars and other organisms, to understand a little bit better about how they grow and develop. I want to go into marine biology, and so I'm spending the summer right on the water and getting like kind of my hands dirty and everything like that to really get the experience that I would need to move on in that field. It's giving me a lot more experience than I would have at a university where like most of the students doing research are grad students, so it's been really awesome. With experiential learning, we, kind of we tend to think of there are four components to that, you know, experiencing something, reflecting on it, which kind of hints to our kind of Jesuit mindset as well at Holy Cross, and then thinking more deeply about what it is that you want to do and then actually doing it. It's a really important opportunity for these students to have access to the marine environment and to spend some time actually doing research in the field. Experiential learning is really valuable to me because I've always been a visual learner and so although I think textbooks and diagrams online can be really resourceful, it's always a great opportunity to have things in person and in your hands to work with. Today I was trying to figure out the anatomy of a brittle star for my project and it's one thing to just look at a textbook and try to figure things out on like a 2D image. But um, yesterday we went out and we found the exact brittle star that I'll be working on and we took it back up to the lab and compared the images in the textbook with the slide. So it's been really useful for my learning and I'm excited to take that back to the lab this semester.